Hi, I'm Finn from Recall Racing, proud winners of the Aramco F1 in Schools World Championship 2023 and recipients of the Velvet Presentation Award. In this video, we'll be diving into the first section of the scorecard, engagement and presentation dynamics. First, let's talk about the script. Your script is much more than just words on a page. It's the backbone of your presentation, shaping how you connect with your audience and deliver your message. A great script does more than just organize your presentation. It grabs attention, keeps the audience entertained and delivers your message with impact. Humor, for example, can be a game changer when used thoughtfully, making your presentation memorable and easy to pay attention to. But planning for these moments is just as important as organizing transitions and timing. More about that topic in Caroline's video about time, clarity and structure. Also try alternating speakers throughout the presentation. This not only keeps the judges intrigued, but also demonstrates your team's unified understanding and collaborative effort. With a well-prepared script in hand, the next step is to bring it to life through practice and thoughtful delivery. Memorizing your script is just the beginning. Rehearse your presentation in front of teammates, friends, family, teachers, and sponsors to ensure that you are not simply reciting your text, but delivering it in a way that connects with the judges and ultimately conveys all the necessary information. We as a team, for example, used to struggle with getting our preparation started early enough. So for the World Finals, we tried organizing a feedback presentation with one of our sponsors a couple of weeks before the competition itself, which forced us to start off early and work, to work towards a fixed deadline. And don't forget to use any unallocated time when you're at the competition to again and again rehearse your presentation. That's valuable time that many forget, forget exists. As for your expression, avoid letting your hands dangle around aimlessly, as this can distract both the judges and your own teammates. Stand upright, maintain good posture, and don't forget to add a subtle smile and broadcast a positive vibe. The third tip for today is about props. Props are powerful tools for capturing attention and making complex ideas easier to understand. For instance, showcasing a scaled-up version of your car or diagram can help judges visualize your design and innovation. The presentation screen should be used strategically, not as a teleprompter, but as a visual aid to complement your spoken words. Thus, avoid packing your slides with text. Instead, focus on clean visuals, diagrams, or short phrases that reinforce your points. As for our very own presentation, we never use text on our own slides once to convey any additional information. Now let's move to the no-go's. One thing you should avoid doing is looking at the screen or the script. It's tempting to glance at your slides or notes, but doing so distracts from your connection with the judges. Eye contact is crucial. Trust me or trust us. Instead of looking at the screen, focus on engaging directly with the people in the room. Practice enough that you're familiar with your content and don't need to rely on those visual aids. And finally, teamwork and coordination. Interrupting your teammates or speaking over them signals disorganization and lack of preparation. Plan your presentation so that transitions between speakers are smooth and natural. And while spontaneity can in some instances add energy, it should never come at the expense of clarity and structure. Each presenter should know their role and stick to the agreed timing, creating the impression of a unified, well-rehearsed team. So, in a nutshell, write your script carefully and strategically. Rehearse it thoroughly to ensure confident delivery and use visuals and teamwork to create a polished, engaging presentation. With all that in mind, you are well prepared for your start, for your preparations. Good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out over on Instagram. Hi, we are Benno, Timon and Marlene from Recall Racing. And this video is about the maybe most important part of the verbal presentation, the team contribution. You need to show excellent teamwork with all members participating effectively. And while the scorecard makes it seem simple, having excellent teamwork in the presentation is quite hard and difficult. But we are here to share our insights with you. Firstly, every team member of your team needs to have about equal speaking time and content relevance. It doesn't matter if it's not their main expertise. A graphic designer, for example, can also talk about project management, as everybody in the team should at least have a basic understanding of every aspect of the competition. Secondly, you should make it very clear who's the one team member the judges should pay attention to. Use the others as a, as a powerful tool to direct the focus of the judges by looking or pointing at the source of interest. This, in combination with clean transitions between speakers, creates a really prominent team presence. 
Avoid speaking your two minutes one after another, but instead divide it up so you can better interact with each other, evoking a positive team vibe. An example is that when presenting the innovations concerning your car, all the engineers can participate having frequent and sometimes funny interactions. Yes, having elements in your presentation where the whole team participates is important for this category. For example, start your presentation by introducing yourselves as a team and in a dynamic way. But first of all, who is Team Recall Racing? Amelie is our team manager and she likes to keep a very tight schedule. Although this might be hard sometimes, it's exactly what brought us here. Finn is our graphic designer and responsible for our pit display. Our teachers say he's involved in way too many projects, but one thing is certain, recall racing always comes first. Now combine that with everyone talking about their learning experiences at the end and you have created a well-rounded intro and outro. Don't fear to be creative and prove that your team is united. Exactly. Showing unity is very important. That's why you should pay extra attention that all team members who are currently not speaking should pay close attention to the speaker and smile. Like that, the whole room is focused on the topic and not distracted by movements or just plain disinterest by a team member. Always remember that a good team spirit is not only important for this category, but the overall impression of your verbal presentation. Thus, be creative, humorous, and show your excitement about being there while staying professional. Good, good luck, luck with, with your, your competition. competition! Hi guys, we're Caroline and Finn from Recall Racing, and these are our top tips for content quality, relevance, and subject understanding. Let's get straight to it. Yes. Focus on the topics that are explicitly marked on the scorecards. These should form the backbone of your presentation. While it's important to briefly introduce yourself and your roles to create engagement, avoid spending too much time on it. Make sure the majority of your content is targeted and aligned with the judge's criteria. Rather than covering too many points superficially, limit your topics and dive deeply into their relevance and impact. For example, when discussing your innovations, focus on how and why they improved your project instead of just detailing their development process. Judges value depth, but only if they directly connect with the project's success or the competition's goals. Also, keep in mind that the judges may be experts in their fields, but they might not fully grasp your project's intricacies right away. Practice delivering as explanations that are concise and easy to follow. Simplify complex ideas and bridge any knowledge gaps. We planned our explanations down to every word to ensure clarity. A great way to test this is by presenting to colleagues, teachers or even family members who are unfamiliar with your work. If they understand your points without <coughs> difficulty, you are on the right track. And don't forget, Avoid spending excessive time diving into technicalities or topics that are too intricate to explain effectively. Right. Keep your explanation accessible and focus on what truly matters. And finally, avoid filler content or topics that don't add value to your presentation. Every point you cover should have a clear purpose and contribute directly to the overall impact. By focusing on these tips, you'll make your presentation concise engaging and perfectly aligned with what the judges are looking for. Good luck with your presentations and we'll see you at the competition. The single most relevant part of this competition is everything surrounding innovation. How exactly can I make my car faster? How can we make our pit display stand out? And what better way is there to present your innovations and your thoughts behind them than the actual verbal presentation where you get points for it too? Hi, I'm Benno from Recar Racing and here are a few things to keep in mind when creating your presentation with regards to your innovations. Firstly, Innovation extends beyond just the car itself. Everything you do has an impact on any area that contributes to your team's performance can be an innovation. If you used a new marketing tool, a creative way to be sustainable, or a new manufacturing method, all of these are innovations and the judges will want to hear about them. The only thing that is important is that these innovations have a positive impact on your team's performance. So choose wisely which of the many innovations your team came up with and select a few key innovations to present. Secondly, when presenting your innovations, it's crucial to explain why they're truly innovative and how they directly impacted your performance. Don't just provide examples. Illustrate how your ideas were executed and the results they led to. If possible, bring physical examples of your innovations to the presentation to give the judges a tangible sense of what you've accomplished. And here's something a bit extra. After our competition, we were thankfully able to talk to some of our verbal presentation judges and we learned that as long as you directly classify something as an innovation, it will be recognized as such. 
a thoughtful approach can turn many of your efforts into one. And now it's crucial to avoid discussing generic innovations that other teams are likely presenting as well. Judges hear multiple presentations after each other, so you want your innovation to be memorable. If it's something that everybody else is doing, it's unlikely to leave a lasting imp impression. In conclusion, remember that innovation go beyond just the car itself. It encompasses every aspect of your team's performance. Be clear and passionate about how your innovations have made a difference. Stand out by presenting truly unique ideas that will leave a lasting impression on the judges. Good luck and remember to make your presentation unforgettable. Hey everyone, I'm Timon, the manufacturing engineer from Recall Racing. And in this video, I will tell you how to convince the judges that your collaborations are more than just some stickers on your pit display. We, for example, had them on our shirts as well. But jokes aside, in your verbal presentation, you need to justify your collaborations with industry and higher education, linking them to learning and project outcomes. Here are some tips on how to interpret those words. Firstly, don't just focus on one company, but try to show a range of different partners. We, for example, collaborated with a university and scientific institute, which taught us how to program microcontrollers, enabling us to develop a unique track testing system and effectively improving our times by 60 milliseconds. But wait, there's more. We partnered with Siemens as well to refine our presentation skills. They gave us feedback on how to communicate complex ideas simply and effectively. Result? Best Verbal Presentation Award. So remember, the project is not merely about the cow, and your collaborations should be able to reflect that. Don't be afraid to think outside the box as well. When you can show the judges something they haven't seen before, they will be interested. Now, imagine being a judge, and you have to decide which team will get more points. Team ChatGPT, which has amazing collaborations, or a team that can back those up with actual results and numbers. Of course, the second team would get more points. On top of that, you need to explain what your partners were able to gain from you in return for their aid. A quick example. Imagine the scorecard was a company. And with its aid, we were able to achieve a 20% increase in points. In return for that, we promised to promote it in a series of videos. In the end, it's a win-win situation. Now, I hope we could help you a bit, and maybe I'll see you at the next World Finals winning the presentation award. One of the most rewarding parts of the F1 in Schools competition is the personal and professional growth you experience along the way. How did this project challenge you? What skills did you develop that you'll hopefully take with you for life? In the verbal presentation, you're expected to reflect on exactly these questions and present your answers to the judges. I am Marlene, engineer of Rico Racing, and in the following few minutes, I'm going to give you some advice on how to realize the learning journey part in your verbal presentation. First, cover a range of aspects. The learning journey isn't just about technical skills or engineering knowledge. Judges want to see a broad range of growth, personal, professional, and academic. Maybe one of you used the CAD program for the first time, or the team manager learned to manage a project timeline, and yet another became better at public speaking. These experiences all count, and the key is to highlight how each one links back to the project. The more diverse your reflections, the better. Avoid repeating the same type of skill or experience several times. Second, reflect on the positive and the challenging. A real learning journey isn't just smooth sailing. Don't be afraid to mention obstacles or setbacks your team faced. What's important is showing how you overcame them and what you learned from the experience. Did a failed design lead to an even better idea? Did time pressure teach you valuable teamwork skills? Honest reflection, both positive and negative, can leave a powerful impression on the judges. Third, equal contributions from all members. Every team member grows in their own way throughout the project. So make sure each person shares their experience. This not only highlights a well-rounded team, but also ensures that everyone's individual development is recognized. Encourage each team member to reflect on an area they improved in or a new passion they discovered. Perhaps someone developed a career interest in engineering, marketing or design because of the project. Sharing these realizations adds depth to your presentation. Fourth, avoid generic answers. Just like with innovation, generic reflections won't stand out. 
everyone learns basic teamwork or project management. So focus on unique or unexpected areas of growth. Maybe you discovered a talent for graphic design while working on the team logo or found that you enjoy public relations. Highlight the parts of your journey that are specific to your experience and will leave a lasting impression. In conclusion, your learning journey is a testament of how much you've grown throughout the competition. Be genuine, be reflective, and most importantly, showcase the unique skills and realizations that have shaped your team. Stand out by highlighting the diverse path each of you has taken or is going to take based on your experience. And finally, good luck. And remember, your learning journey is just as important as the car you built.